weeks after the Stearns County Sheriff highlighted what he called missed opportunities to catch Jacob Wetterling's killer. Within days of his disappearance, another former FBI agent who worked the case is now speaking out. Fox News' Paul Bloom joins us now live with this story tonight. Paul, Steve Gilkerson defending the FBI's work. Absolutely, Randy. You know what? Uh, Steve Gilkerson argued today that the Stearns County Sheriff got it all wrong, that he wasn't in the trenches of the Wetterling investigation. He insists now it's easy to look back on the case file and think the lone suspect all along should have been Danny Heinrich. But from the get-go, he says there were several suspects who he had to look at. We had nothing, nothing to show that he was responsible for, for Jacob's kidnapping. Former FBI Special Agent Steve Gilkerson recalling his 1990 interrogation of Danny Heinrich insisting he and other investigators did not blow the Jacob Wetterling case nearly 30 years ago when they allowed Heinrich, a prime suspect from the get-go, to slip through their hands. We had a few other suspects who look at it, looked just every bit as guilty as Heinrich. Gilkerson's remarkable news conference Tuesday, coordinated by a local public relations professional in the Hennepin County Government Center, came 12 days after the bulk of the Wetterling case file was unsealed. We regard the interrogation as perhaps the most fatal flaw in the Wetterling investigation. Why? One of the agents who interviewed Heinrich was fresh out of the academy and perhaps had never interviewed a crime suspect in his life. Twelve days after Stearns County Sheriff Don Goodmanson blasted the FBI and without specifically naming him Gilkerson for allowing the investigation to careen, quote, off the rails in the early stages of what turned into a decades-long mystery. It is clear to me that the only way this case could have ever been solved and was solved was by confession. We now know federal authorities eventually coaxed that confession out of Heinrich in 2016 with new DNA evidence and child porn charges hanging over his head. But Sheriff Goodmanson continues to insist the Wetterling file with sneaker prints, tire tracks, and suspect descriptions and other similar attacks across Stearns County during that same time period should have landed Heinrich in prison long ago. Gilkerson disagrees. We do not convict people on maybe, possibly, or even probably. We convict people with real evidence in our system of justice. And Gilkerson went on to admit the one thing he would have done differently back in 1990 is not actually place Heinrich under arrest given the evidence that they had at the moment. He said once they did that, brought him into the interrogation room, and Heinrich demanded a lawyer. He walked out the door and enjoyed freedom for another 27 years. We're live in downtown Minneapolis. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.